Today we're gonna to be talking about how to peek in Counter-Strike. Today, hopefully I'll just be able to give you some general kind of rules of thumb. Uh, ideally be able to break it down for you in a way that you can visualize your peaks and understand what's going on in the game a lot better. So a couple rules of thumb, if you are closer to the angle, you're gonna be at a bit bigger disadvantage than if you're further away from the angle. So if the other player is further away from the angle that you are fighting on, they will see you before you see them. So right here, my editor, Sicko, can see me and I can't see him at all. He can literally see my shoulder and I can't see anything. This is because once again, I'm closer to the angle right here that I'm fighting on. And Sicko is over here and he has a full on advantage and he can see me probably a few milliseconds before I see him. Some things you can do and one of the easiest things you can do to counteract their advantage is by simply stepping out past their pre-aim. Most people are gonna be aiming at this position holding middle and they can see me before I see them. So what I would do is step past the angle. And now what this does is, is it forces him to step into the angle closer and I can actually now see him before he sees me. Another thing you can do when you are at a disadvantage on the angle is get even closer to the wall. So if you know somebody's position and they have the advantage on the angle, sure, I could be on this back wall and I can swing past the angle like I just showed you. However, if I actually peek from closer to the wall, I'm going to appear faster and I'm going to move faster across their screen than if I was on the back side of the wall. So now I can get even more ground if I want and put the fight on my terms. Something that's also important to know is this is a great way to jiggle peek oppers. When you're closer to the wall, you're moving faster on his screen when you're on this angle, which makes, you know, you're going to be a little bit more of a tempting target and you're going to try to bait the opera this way. Where if I'm a little bit further off the wall, I'm actually coming out slower than if I was right next to the wall. So being close to walls, even though you're at a disadvantage on the angle, can provide advantages for you when trying to jiggle out or bait your opponent into firing when they're not trying to. A lot of people will approach this angle entirely wrong. You'll see people with rifles come onto the back side of this wall and they'll crouch peek right into the op and die. Really what you should be doing is if you know the op is CT, if you're not gonna try to fight him, which most of the time, if you don't have an op, it's not a good idea. Trying to get past the angle on the close side of the wall is much stronger and you can force the op once again to try to walk back into you. You force the issue with him and you gain an advantage on the angle if you can get past the initial angle. not staged at all last but not least we'll just kind of talk about right eye versus left eye real quick in counter-strike your camera is slightly to the right of your forehead meaning when you peek with your right shoulder in game to the right it's going to be slightly better than if you were to peek to the left because the camera is in a position where it's slightly just positioned to the right however a lot of people love talking about right eye left eye and they're stupid right eye left eye is important but rule of thumb the angle is always more important if you are closer or further from the angle is always more relevant and important versus right eye versus left eye. Using your right shoulder to try to peek somebody and use that advantage versus their left eye will not matter if the angle is better for them. You can't beat a bad angle with the camera. I'm not really gonna get too in depth with it because genuinely most interactions in Counter-Strike are actually dictated by who's closer and who's further from the angle. Just remember if you are an equal angle that the person that is peeking with their right shoulder will have a very slight advantage over the person if they are holding with their left shoulder. So to recap things, if you are the one closer to an angle, you are typically at a disadvantage. However, being at a disadvantage on the angle, being closer to it, does give you advantages if you know how to use it. And that's by being closer to the wall and peaking extremely fast with a lot of speed instead of backing further up because that'll make you appear slower. And overall, if you can, try to position yourself further away from angles because they will appear slower for you and you can use your crosshair placement to put them down a lot easier. So whether you guys are returning to Counter-Strike, been playing Counter-Strike, or brand new, I hope you guys are enjoying the video. Please don't forget to like, subscribe, leave a comment, all that good stuff. And I'll catch you guys in the next video. Take it easy, guys.